The Edina Arts Center has many and varied shows, but not many artists have been involved as long as the one we recently met. Edina TV's Scott Denfeld and I attended opening night of the Jack O'Leary Art Show at the Arts Center. Here's more on this very accomplished and lifelong artist. Very impressive body of work. Jack O'Leary was very young when he decided to pursue art as a career. After World War II, when when you know, when all sorts of educational options were open to you, I said, oh hell, I'll be a fine artist. He attended two art schools, but after getting married, Jack decided he'd also get a degree in art education. You know, well, you're romantic, you know, you, yeah, you, know, you, you can do these things, you know, you, you don't worry about making a living at it. Even while raising a family, Jack found a unique path to express his creativity. I uh, designed and built and flew model airplanes competitively around the country. After the passing of his wife, Jack got back into art. In fact, most of his work in the show has been created over the past 13 years. And as Michael Fry explains, Jack's talent is immense. He mainly has painted in acrylic and that's what this show is all about. But if you walk through the gallery, you'll see some pieces in charcoal, um, in pencil, um, I think there's one pastel piece. He's really skilled at working a different medium. And on top of that, Jack has learned how to create art with his computer, a rare skill for more seasoned artists. Marjorie Moody is on the Minnesota Artists Association board with Jack. She says he's a great board member and contributor, but she also really appreciates his unique work. He's really got a, a way of, of making something creative and yet interesting and they're kind of organic and you're not sure if it's based on reality or if it's just totally abstract. Believe it or not, Jack just celebrated his 90th birthday. I'm a very lucky guy, you know, absolutely, and uh, I attributed most of that to uh, selecting my parents wisely. Jack's daughter Lisa says if art hasn't kept him young, it has definitely kept her dad engaged and has greatly widened his social circle. I think it was really a, a wonderful thing that after my mom passed away, and I believe it was 2001, that it was a sort of a reawakening of his own artistic expression. More evidence that we're never too old to pursue our passions. If you'd like to see Jack's work, it will be on display at the Art Center through January 26th.